and, uh, and what a time in Georgian MMA with both Marab on the cusp of fighting for a belt and, of course, Ilya Teporia uh, just about two months ago defeating Alex Volkanovsky to become the undisputed featherweight champion, uh, celebrated in two countries, obviously Georgia, but Spain as well. Seeing what's happened to him, he's hanging out with Leo Messi. It's an unbelievable thing. So what a superstar. Marab, please, thank you so much for doing this, my friend. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's so you. good to see you. Anytime we can talk in person, it's a pleasure. And I know thank you have to move a lot of things, but yeah. it's a very just, busy time, so thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. You look pleasure. fantastic. Look at you. Yeah. This shirt is beautiful. Thank you. You thank have you. great style. Do you have a stylus? No, actually. No, no stylus? No. I have a, I have a closet in my car. and then In your car? Yeah, I mean, I have it in my house too. Yeah. <laughs> I have some shorts, pants, shoes. Just in, in case car. you have to do something. Yeah, because now I, I finish my training. From here, I'm going to uh, UFCPI. And uh, after I got to do haircut quick, if I have time, I don't know, and Aljo has a press conference. Yes, yes, and yes. And then Aljo's training, and I have everything in my car. You know? Okay. I have to be ready. So I, I'm not going to keep you long, so no, I really no, appreciate it. No, no, I'm good. Now You're good? I, I, okay, okay, good, good, yes. good. Um, uh, how is Aljo doing? Big fight, 145, moving up. What can you tell us? Very happy, very strong, um, very excited. And, uh, yeah, he's always been big, big man, and uh, he's doing great. Um, you know, he still has to cut like 20 pounds, no, 20 or 25 pounds, and then... Serious? Yes. How's that then, possible? Yeah, yeah, but he, he, he feel like yes, a little bit yesterday, like weight cuts, and today, of course, feeling it, but before he was happy, healthy, training, you know, like uh, he was focused on training cap, not weight cut, cut. Before he was focused on weight cut, and uh, yeah, he's big boy. He's like, he's weighing, it's like 170, I think. It's God, around 170, 170. Yeah. but he's... But he's it's build muscle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you like this, and and, and mentally, how is he doing? You know, because oh, very good, off. very happy, and uh, we all know, like we are very confident. I'm very confident. He's very confident. You know, uh, I I know he's gonna finish his opponent, and or he he he's gonna win easy. But I'll just saying he wants long as he's gonna perform good. You know, he's yeah. Okay. You know, he wants to. Yeah, lose. yeah. You know, just good fight, you know, that's what he's focused on. But I'm sure, like, he looks very, very good. Like, even, even strike, even, of course, grappling always been his. But now he's going to show up because, like, he's, he's, he was mentioning, like, weight cut was um, um, top always and take all his technique and all the muscle, yeah. you know, strength. And are, are you going to be in his corner? Yes, I will be. So who is the corner? You, Ray Longo? And Dennis Bezukia. Okay. Yeah, Dennis Bezukia. Uh, he's like 145. He just got finished in uh, Atlantic City, yeah. and he's, tr he's been training with Dennis uh, uh, over the years. But now, of course, like uh, Mimike, Dennis Mimike is the Calvin Kaitar, and he's drilling. I'm a, I'm a little guy for him now. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm more wrestler. I always we, we try to drill some combo, and I always shoot legs, <laughs> you know. But yeah, so yeah, we I've been watching Aljo sparring. He looks great, and uh, yeah. Do you live full time now here? Yeah, I, you know, we first I came here when Aljo was fighting Corey Sanhagen. Yeah. And during the COVID yeah. 2020. And when I see like everything is close here, the couple of good gyms and uh, just you can. PI. PI and then the hiking and like yeah. just uh, lots of good fighters coming, training partners and. Uh, in New York, it's stressful, you know, always something to do. I have, you know, I have good friends there, but it's always somebody's birthday. It's always, you have to pick up somebody from aeroport, yeah. you know. And, uh, you know, much as I love to do all this, I have to be disciplined. And uh, I, and, uh, I, I, it's, and I buy a house in Las Vegas, and I moved here, like, full time. Oh, wow, okay. But, yeah, in New York, I still go, like, Georgia, it's my home. I still represent my team, of course. But, uh, yeah, I'm just visiting New York once in a while, but um, I live here and training here, and I'm, I'm happy, you know. it's ev so, so Everything is so easy. You know, like, once you're getting a little popular, a little, like, uh, come, it's going tough, 15, tough, you know. Yeah. You know, you have lots of things to do, interviews, training, um, your life, you know, your, your, your own, your own, uh, you know, like, family, whatever, yeah. you know, you're busy, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying, and uh, 
you, same time, you have to be disciplined. You have to be disciplined. And uh, like some people living family and then going for training camp. Me, I don't like go training camp somewhere like Mexico or right, somewhere. Right, 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 right. I'd rather be one place, you know. So Vegas is best place for me. Stay here, live here, training here, because um, yeah, I have lots of training partners. Everybody's different. Me, um, I'm I'm growing when I I have a good training partners. You know, I'm sparring, wrestling. Right. Because I I never used to be like one and one coaching or something, you know. So Do you have a home gym here? I or is it I build I build the. Um, uh, gym in my garage. Oh, but like where you go, like to uh, a gym, like yes, Syndicate MMA. Okay, that's where that's where you yes. consider it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. First. Um, so when you fight for the belt later this year, will John Wood be in your corner? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, but thank God uh, for the belt. Uh, when I will fight for the belt, I will be able to have a five corner. Oh, five. Uh, yeah. Not four. Oh, I be oh maybe maybe four, but okay. even four is good for me yeah, because yeah. this way I can have a. Uh, Ray Longo, Metzera, Aljamai Sterling, and John. Oh, boy, that's yeah, what is what a what a squad that is. Yes, <laughs> incredible. So so last time we spoke was right after the Cejudo win. Um, I didn't get your thoughts yet on Sean's win over Cheeto. Uh, it's yeah. been a month. Yes. Were you surprised by how dominant he was in that fight? Actually, I was surprised. Yeah, I, I was. I knew. I knew. Then I. I say before it. It's going to be. Uh, five round distance fight uh i thought will be more boring fight you know but it was excited fight but because of sean was doing uh, like uh, very very good you know i was surprised how good he looked and he really dominated chito where I, yeah he looked good uh were you surprised that he couldn't finish him or didn't finish him no i wasn't surprised because chito where i top and uh yeah they they both striker and uh yeah i was surprised Okay, let me ask you this. Were you surprised that Cheeto couldn't quite figure him out? It was, you know, 50 to 45, it seemed like, in the end. Uh, five rounds to none. Maybe there was one 44. But, like, were you surprised that Cheeto didn't? Yes, I was surprised that because, um, yeah, yeah, he don't have nothing game plan. He don't even kick because that's how he win first time, right? You should just cup kick or just close the distance or make ugly fight. And yeah, he, he go hard in fourth round. And then in the fifth round, end of couple of seconds, he go hard. But like, why he was waiting all his time? Like, you gotta when you see that you are getting beat up, you gotta you gotta just go killer instinct. Sure. You know, either everything or nothing. You may get knocked down, but you gotta go one bunk. You know, like you gotta just you are fighter. You gotta just go crazy. You know, I think. Have you been told yet? So here we are a month later. Have you been told by the UFC, your management, anyone that you are without a doubt next? It's happening. You don't have to worry. It's all good. Um, um, nothing official. Like no, like um, nothing yet. But uh, but I know I'm the next. Uh, and uh, um, yeah, just not nothing from UFC. But um, there's no part of you that's worried, that's afraid that they go in a different or a shant. Like you feel confident you're next in your mind. You're next. Yes, I'm confident because after my fight, then I said I am the next. Yeah. And also, uh, I heard like some uh, inside talk, you know, from UFC. Yeah, I'm the next. Okay, and good. And also, I mean, who else would be? Like, I know. Well, you know, crazy things happen, but uh, <laughs> yeah. it has to be you, right? Yeah, I mean, it has. To. Yeah, I'm very confident. It's okay. Me. It's me. In what time frame do you think? Uh, as you know, I'm ready for next week, next you know, week, yeah. like, because you fight on Saturday. Yeah. 300. After, after my fight, I make wait in three weeks again. I was ready. And, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You went this Saturday. You could do it. <laughs> How much do you weigh, by the way? Like, what do you walk around at? Uh, actually I was eating, it, eating a lot and <laughs> I'm not checking now. I'm okay. Checking okay. Now. Usually, yeah. normally I walk around like 20 pounds over. Like, okay. Like 156, like. Like usually, this is my normal weight, but I can be a little heavy now because I, I just eating, not checking, but you know I can make weight, no problem. So what do you think? Like summertime, maybe uh, June, oh, July. Oh, so uh, Sean mentioned September. Okay. And I know he wants at the spare. I I would love to fight there for my Mexican people. Yes. And, yeah, I would, <laughs> I would love to show, represent Mexico again, and. Um, 
maybe this time I will bring my Mexi Mexican Mexico flag and Mexi Mexican flag maybe. Um, uh, but um, I think yes, so because of Sean was September and uh, uh, you know Sean has a Mexican wife. Yeah. Um, adopted Mexican. Sure, sure, makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah, it's an all Mexican fight. Yeah, maybe now, maybe now I'm just gonna transfer some Mexican blood or something. <laughs> but like, no, I love Mexican people because how they're patriot, you know. Sure, they're sure. Patriot people, and I, I was very close with them, and I have lots of friends. And anyway, so I mean, you don't mind that that's in five months? No, I don't mind. Listen, um, no, it's a it's a big fight, and this is. Um, this is for the belt, and um, I, 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 I'm no problem. Even if Sean, when he was joking, 20, if 25 will be great. When he yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay with that. If he wants to wait one more year and keep training wrestling, he can train wrestling, wrestling defend, grappling, running, or whatever he wants. He can take all his time. I'm just going to wait. Yeah, so I'm I'm not gonna fight nobody else. I'm not fighting street, and uh, I'm just gonna fight Sean. Compared to some of your recent opponents and tests, um, obviously Peter Yan, Henry Zahudo, like where would you put Sean as far as what he brings to the table? Are are you? Yeah. Do you, do you acknowledge that he's the best of the bunch? Do you not think this will be as difficult as? Henry or someone else that you fought? Oh, it's a big, big challenge actually, and um, I will say it's it's a new challenge. You know the yeah, that at the time Josie Aldo was big challenge for me. Uh, even Peter Ian was big challenge, and of course Henry Cejudo because you know styli stylistically you know he's wrestler you know, and then but now it's a different challenge and it's a big, even bigger challenge I think Sean O'Malley. I always want to fight him since 2018, once I win my first fight, I call him out and since that, every time I win the fight, only guy who I was calling out, that was Sean. I always wanted to fight him, but I'm, Why glad, is that? I'm glad it's happening now. Why is that? Because I see as a challenge, I, is as, I see as a superstar, you know, he's, I know he's, uh, he's a great fighter and um, yeah, he knocks people out and uh, I always want to... Uh, fight the best guy, and I always uh, yeah want want to challenge myself. And uh, if if you ask me before or now who you, who I want to fight, I want to fight the the most dangerous guy, most superstar, most uh, known guy. It's it's Sean. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, that time it was couple champions, but it's Sean was star, you know, and I want to fight him. So yeah, there is couple reasons to why I want to fight him. Just to, I don't have nothing personal against him. Even like he was, he still jokes stupid of, uh, about me, and you know, I don't have nothing against him. I just wanna, uh, compet, you know, like t you know, just yeah, uh, just sport cheap, you know, just compet com competitive, compete, you know, against him. So you fought. Uh, that was like early February. February yeah. what was 17. It? 17. Yeah, February 17. And then you served as the backup fighter for March 9. Yes. Right? Yeah. How long after February 17 did you get the call about being the backup fighter for the March 9 title fight? Yeah. Actually, um, I, I did uh, tell my uh, manager, Oren, uh, right after my fight, hey, if, if please tell Hunter and uh, Dana White if... If they need a backup fighter, if something happened, if somebody misread, I'll be ready even in three weeks, right? And then, but I don't hear nothing from them. And then he said, okay, I will talk to them. I guess he, he let them, he, he tell maybe Sean Shelby or Dana White, or I don't know exactly who. And, um, and you know, after that, uh, I came back to Vegas. I was, um, oh, I mean, I was organizing my messy house because I, I was focused on training camp and I was just making make sure my closet is yes, good yes. and the car is organized everything, yes. and uh, then the for the upcoming weekend I go Mexico for like, it was yes. fight in Mexico yes. I go Brandon there Rino. see my yeah support my friends and by the way can I just ask you like who again I I know I've asked you about your social media and how yeah. good it is it's so good but like even you showing up there dressed the way you were dressed it was brilliant 
Uh, the Mexico? Yes. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Who's? Is this all your brain, or are you working with? You don't have to tell me who, but like. No, no, yeah. I, I, you're not missing. Everything you're doing is so fun and entertaining. Who's coming up with all this? This side of your personality coming out. Uh, it's more. It's it's me. This is all you. Where also has this guy been? Why, why? Why did you? Why did you keep him from us for all these years? This side of your personality. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I now I'm more more confident. I'm winning fights and. Uh, uh, and uh, like you know, after I break my uh, head in ice, I don't have. <laughs> everybody, everybody saw I'm crazy yeah. guy. Yeah, and yeah. I, <laughs> it's so good, I love it. It's there, you know. Now everybody like, uh, like in the, so yeah, just some um, personality. Yeah. That's just a couple of my videos. There's some like only two, two videos was my friend's idea. You should do that, and I did by all. All of them the rest was is my, you. The rest my. How long does it take before like you come up with the idea and then you shoot uh, it and put it together? Yeah, sometimes you know it's 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 um, uh, yeah, like you know because of my training, uh, my traveling, everything, it's it's hard, you know. But and uh, yeah, like to put together, you know, it's hard. But thank God now I have. You see the young guy there? He's my friend. Oh, is this the brains. Yeah, he's my. He's helping me with the camera. He's good, young. Well done. Young. Oh, there's the camera right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so, look at you. Now you got a team. Yeah. You got people. So, yeah, so uh, it's from Georgia also, and then yeah, we just, we just humble people and just make funny, positive jokes. You know? I like it. I like it. Thank you. So yeah, back okay, to. Okay, so yeah, so you're, uh, dress. So you're, you're in Mexico. Yeah. So how? So I. And then, then, so next week after my fight, it was fight in Mexico, yeah. and then the Brian Ortega was fighting there. I, I'm friends with him. Brandon Moreno was fighting. I'm friends with him, and I want to support them. And I, all all the Mexican fighters, I'm actually cool with all of them. And then I want to go support them. And um, I was thinking, what should I wear? I don't want to just go like yeah, this, yeah. you know. Like, and then, and I was looking, uh, maybe I need something outfit like a Mexican to to. To you know, be like a, in Mexico, be like a Mexican, and then, and then, and I was, uh, and the, my flight, uh, you know, I don't know if where I in Mexico City where I can find this store and you know this the language barrier whatever, and I Google here uh, the Mexican store whatever, I go, I find that big, big uh, Mexican uh, um, the outfit, and then I go and I choose the, I buy some clothes, uh, some hats, yeah, yeah. shoes, pants, everything, you know. <laughs> it's amazing. And I, and I take a fly, I go to Mexico, and I was like, <laughs> Mexico, real Mexico. Did the fans show you love? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. They yeah. loved it. They, it's, yeah, I feel the energy. Yeah, they they show me big love. Yeah, and and yeah. So I, I was at the fight, and from Mexico, uh, I wanna. Uh, I, and I, I fly to back New York. I see my team. You know, I go to gym a little bit. You know, my uh, yeah, my team said long ago, and uh, I see my close friends and family members, and I, I eat with them. I eat some hachapuri, hinkali, Georgian food in New York. We have lots of restaurants, and um, it's and I came to Vegas and two weeks gone already. And then my manager told me, oh, be ready. Maybe it's one minute left. Oh, maybe you should. Um, you are. You will be back a fighter. I think I'm confirmed now with them. They said yes. Oh, I said it's one nil, one week left. Okay, I'll be ready. But and then, and I signed the contract Saturday, and then from there I start weight cut. Wow. So what was two, yeah. one week? Six days. Come. On. Then when they come from. Yeah. How much did you weigh when you signed it? Actually, uh, okay. What I what I what I did, I don't eat. Oh God. I don't eat. All Saturday nothing, and I don't check weight until Sunday when I ch work out and I check I check my weight and I was like 152 because I I, I skip the food Saturday, I skip food Sunday and training Sunday and then I check weight and I was. Do you drink? I drink yes. Okay. It's uh, now I learned better. I, I used to do very old school like. Um, how I was, how wrestlers was doing, like no eat, no drink. But now, first three days I drink, and the last two days no drink, no food. That's Wait, what do you mean? When you're cutting weight? Yeah, you gotta drink water. Okay, so first three days you drink, but then the last two days? No water, no food. Nothing. What is that? Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Thursday, Friday? Oh, Wednesday, no food, no drink, Gosh. and uh, and then Thursday, no food, no drink, and then so, like, Thursday night, uh, I'm just. Like I have usually one pound over, and I'm just dead in my bed waiting 
morning to sh wake up one by one pound I have extra because I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I can't sleep, I'm just you know moving in, like in by bed, it trying to sleep is miserable, it's always hard. And uh, when next when I wake up, I hope I can pee a little bit and then. The, the one pound I have extra, it's gone because of no... Oh. Uh, yeah. How hard is it to do all the media stuff on Wednesday, Thursday in that state? That's the hardest part. Yeah. yeah. Like when you drain and yeah. you, you, don't have, you don't have even water and food and you same time you have to work out and sweat out. Yeah, it's hard. But, you know, this, this is how I cut. I don't want to try new style like I know that everybody doing new, new style. Uh, I mean, it's maybe better, but I don't want to test it because it's... Just, I don't want to test uh, because it's always hard. Like, without fight, I don't want to test it, but I don't want to risk. When I have a fight, I don't want to risk do new style. I know I'm making my own style of weight. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, what well, work works and, out. And you think it's, is it healthy? Is it safe? Or yeah, yeah. I'm, no problem. Yeah, like next day I'm gaining 20 pounds back and I'm, I'm strong and I have never have a problem. 20 pounds, great. Yeah, what, what do you eat on the Friday? Uh, Friday, once I make weight, yeah. uh, first um, uh, uh, UFC PI people, they are giving us, um, it's a special water with mixed perialites and uh, uh, lots of vitamins. First, you gotta, you have 10 minutes to finish one shake water and another 10 minutes next water. And uh, you, they give you one, one gallon water also, you have, you, you can start after uh, yeah, after you finish, after you can, and after you can start eating, the, my first food is watermelon mm. and uh, fruit because yeah. my stomach is, is no not ready for like a real food yeah, because yeah. I like last six days no almost no food, and then my stomach is weak. I don't want to just go bread or pizza or yeah, cheese yeah. and something. First, strawberry, not strawberry, blueberry. Um, um, uh, watermelon and uh, the uh, the r redberry, raspberry, raspberry, yeah, yeah, yeah. those the those first I eat those, yeah, yeah, and then after, I don't care, I don't know, little by little, maybe pasta is good, yeah. you know, it's good. You were in Atlantic City, right? Say again, did you go? You were in Atlantic City, right? Yeah, I was yeah, there yeah. because I support my friend Dennis Bezuki and uh, Chris Weidman, yes, <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> yes sir. Uh, what did what did you think of of his fight of his performance? He, Chris looks good. Um, he was winning. He win dominated first round. He win second round, and then yeah, third round. But yeah, that guy was complaining. I mean, respect. But he couple times uh, yeah complained. And yeah, I agree what Chris say. You know, yeah, you when you get eye poked, uh, we don't see it. It looks like knockout, right? How Chris? Yeah, yeah, him. of course. But. When you got eye poke, yeah, at least you have to like, just give, you know, like, down, no drop, like, uh, you get knocked down, you know, because he, uh, yeah, the guy make me big mistake, you know, he dropped down and, uh, yeah, Chris follow up, because, you know, that you are fight, you are fighter, you are ready, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then, what I think, uh, I'm so happy for Chris, you know, he, he was, he looks good, you know, uh, I, I know how good person he is and uh, good fighter he is and, uh, you know, I'm 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 just I'm just my blind my mind blowing up by how like unlucky he is and how how like you know injuries and injuries so he has only he has thirty surgeries on all his Crazy. career back to back and uh, the break his leg he was supposed to dominate Uriah Hall he was supposed to dominate because I know Chris was training his wrestling and Uriah Hall's wrestling we all know he's not that good. Chris just should like just do like Khabib, you know, just shoot wrestling, take him down, make him tired and choke him out. But he throw a kick and break his leg. It's crazy sport. But I'm happy for he him uh, for his family. He's a good guy. Were you I, nervous before this one? Because he said after he would have maybe retired if he lost. And obviously uh, the last fight wasn't. No, I wasn't nervous. You know, I, uh, you know, you know, I'm a fighter and I like I want to him like, just go and have a good fight there. And I, w I was just uh, maybe try to like I see him before the fight, like um, uh, in, a, in the lobby. And I, 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 you know, Chris has a lot of experience, but like sometimes you still need to uh, remind this, like I, I just tell him maybe just um, because we spoke before and um, usually before he never studies op op 
like maybe last couple of fights, he never studied the opponent. Mm -hmm. And I tell him the, after the Brett Tawari, I said, brother, please study, you know, please study. And uh, because somebody tell Chris uh, when he was against the Brett Tawares, oh, Brett Tawares, don't kick. Don't worry about the kicking. And the Brett Tawares, oh, you can take him down. But if he... If Chris studied Brett Tavares, I love Brett Tavares. He's a great guy. But like it's you know we, when you fight you gotta you gotta be smart, right? And then so Brett Tavares he defends takedown against the wall very good. You can take him down, but inside yeah, yeah. against the wall he's very good. So somebody tell him, oh you can take him down, no easy, no problem. And Brett Tavares is not kicking, but Brett Tavares kicking hard like sh cap kicks, the which is terrible and especially Chris was coming from uh, leg injury and uh, the big you know and then Brad Tavares was kicking kicked the shit out of him you know and then they, they changed the game you know everything and after this I tell Chris please study your opponent and uh, when I see him, him again I said maybe you know just just follow your your um, game plan you know and like you know just he's he's my big brother everything but I'm happy for him you know just um, and he did very good, you know. He was winning fight, and then, of course. and then they cancel TKO, and then and they give him like um, decision. Decision. So so. Um, uh, on Friday or tomorrow, uh, there's a, there's an announcement about the gloves, about gloves, yeah. and and so we think with no confirmation yet that maybe they're gonna make some changes to the glove. Right. Um, a, have you heard about this? And if not, yes. Okay, what what, what can you tell us about this? Uh, the UFC glove has to be changed. Okay. Uh, always, every time I wear gloves or Aljo or my friends, um, it's either Ali Quinta or Dennis. We all get stressed out. Even Ilya, I spoke. Every Ilya said I, I I let them cut in like me also like it's always every time I put the fingers like this every time because after wraps. Yeah. Like this, yeah. It takes energy and like this to squeeze like this, you know. It's gloves like yeah, this, stiff. and every time you squeeze, it hurts here, hurts here. It's tight and it's so hard to bend. We never used to be training like normal yeah, gloves, yeah, and yeah. it's like, and then it's very hard, like stressful. First, when you lock it, when you're getting ready for fight, yeah. and you have these gloves staying like this. You know, when it, every time you squeeze like this, we try to break down. We give them coaches, whoever has the big fingers going, like stretching. Yeah. We call cut men. They have something like this, and then they, you know, like a big, like a, you know, the jump rope. Yeah, Jump row has yeah, the, like yeah. handles. The handles they put in and just make them, Stretch you know. It. Yeah. And <laughs> we we go like these things. You have to do this on Saturday. Two hours before you go locker room, you do usada, and then after usada they bring the gloves, and then once you try and some you have to try before because if you try 15 minutes early and then oh my god it's stressful you gotta try before you have two hours to warm up to usada uh, maybe uh, you know like get ready for fight you know. And then it's very stressed out. You know, you, everything hard work done, you're ready for fight, and these gloves always stressing you out, man. Uh, you know. Uh, so yeah. what do you think they're going to... Okay, then now about what I think about gloves. The, um, so, like, the gloves, other gloves, like the gloves, for example, I have now, the gloves, it's like like this, you know. When you put in the fingers, it's like this, and it has a paro here, like, you know. So, and uh, and I was excited to, like, see what's... The, and then, um, and I think, uh, uh, I hope it's a good gloves now and... Uh, it's more round? Yeah, more round and less, more loose. Yes, yes, less stiff. Yeah, um, I mean... The, the pride glove, do you, do, you, do you remember the pride gloves? I they were a little bit more know. round? Yeah. And uh, less eye pokes? Yes, of course. I, I, I love Bellator gloves too, you know, it's because it's it like different? this. Yeah, it's like this. It's just yeah. like this, you know. Okay. It's it's like the Everlast has the same gloves. Uh, I have a Star Pro gloves now. It's like this, you know. Um, it's just like this, you know. It's like. Um, Do they consult with you on this? Because I saw Chase Hooper tweet like, "Oh, I've been consulting this and that." So. Yes, uh, actually, uh, they 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 was testing. Uh, they bring a couple examples, but I signed the contract. I, I they told me not talk about this. I don't okay, know how right, much. Sorry, sorry. No, no, I, I don't know how much I can talk about this. Whatever gloves they show me. Okay, okay. Yeah, they did show me. I was in You're the FCPI. I was. 
Uh, they were still working on, uh, and then I don't know, I don't know, I cannot, yeah, like whatever they show me, like, um, yeah, I don't know, I guess, I guess they was working on, sure, the, sure, I was okay. the beginning, so let's yeah. yeah, let's see. But, I you're, hope. but you're open to it, you, 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 you would be happy for a change. Oh, yes, absolutely, you know, absolutely. The UFC gloves looks good, but to, to fight with this, it's very hard, you know, in, in actual fights, you know. Yes, of course. Yeah. And also, when they introduce it, like if they introduce this tomorrow, it's probably going to be like a month or so before you guys are able to, yeah. like they're, they're not going to make the people fighting on Saturday wear them, or do you think they will possibly? I did ask actually somebody uh, if uh, the new gloves will be this part. They said no. No, right. It's it's just um, they're gonna announce. Yes. And, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is good. Yeah, this is good news. Yeah. By the way, what about those scenes with uh, Ilya back home? This is crazy. The, the people. Yes, right. You see, right, Georgia, stuff. right. Everybody. What is going uh, on over? And also, yeah. Georgia made it to the Euro in the soccer. Yes, thank what you. What a time, what thank a time. You, congratulations. Thank you, congratulations to the Georgian soccer team. Uh, really, really proud of Incredible. Them. First time, I think, right? First time ever. Unbelievable. It's crazy, yeah. So, you, them, him, when yeah. you see that, are you like, oh, I can't wait till I get to experience that? I know you get love already when you go there, but... You're right. I, I get so much love and uh, so much support from Georgia. I'm good. Like, now I'm, I'm planning to, uh, after I'll just fight, I'm planning to go to Georgia. I'm not gonna say exactly when, but because um, they'll come and they'll wait yeah, at the airport for I you. Yeah, because I wanna keep it a secret because I wanna go uh, quiet and I just wanna go like a bit uh, hoodie. Okay. Like, <laughs> if you go on the street there, everyone. Everybody. Crazy. You know, you know, you know what's the difference? Like in America, whoever watch UFC, they they know me. Of course, yes. you have to know me. But, uh, but in Georgia, everybody know me because. First, it's a big deal that somebody from Georgia, as a small country, represent Georgia in the United States. Yeah. And big uh, organization like UFC and doing good. And, uh, uh, and, uh, and this is big deal. But because of that, and they show me in, in national TV, every TV, every newspaper, all the social media, but everybody support me. But also... Like, um, you know, like every, every, even comedy show, talk show, drama show, everybody talks about me, you know what wow. I'm saying? Yeah. Here, you know, like, uh, like I said, you know, UFC, peop, the people who ever watch UFC, they know me, but over there, Mainstream. everybody. Yeah, it's because it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I guess, I'm, I will say, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, Everybody know me, yes. But the guy, uh, I forget his name, Connor knows his name, number 77 for Napoli, the striker. The Khvicha Kvaratskhelia. Yes, he's incredible. Have you, have you ever met him? Yes. Um, is, he a f is he a fan? Yes, we are friends, actually. Wow. Yeah, we are friends. Um, he, after I win, uh, he, he did give me before his um, uh, jersey. Yeah, yeah. But after I win, he sent me the boots, the shoes, wow. and then jer the jersey with the signature again. From uh, for Napoli or for Georgia when he from worked? Napoli. Uh. <laughs> Both of the times so he sent me Napoli like uh, the jersey. Okay. But yeah, so now I'm gonna bring some maybe my gloves so he can beat somebody up. <laughs> uh, I love it. Do yeah. you see you see Ilya with uh, Leo Messi? Yeah, I did. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yes. This guy. Yeah, this guy. He exploded. You see him, he comes out on the field at Real Madrid. Yeah, listen, let me tell you what. Um, uh, you know, I'm friends with Ilya, and then he even, like, two, three years ago, he he showed me his Instagram, like, uh, inbox, text, and then all this, you know, like, um, the, like celebrities, like, the, the DMs, like, yeah. you know, and then and there's so many unopened text message because he's busy with the training yeah. too like even three years ago like Crazy. I cannot imagine now how many uh, connections and how many celebrities he know but the, but let me tell you about something Ilya he's um, he's special uh, I mean we all know he's a good fighter and how he dress and how he looks how he talks and how he speaks he speaks Georgian he speaks Spanish he speaks English and he speaks um, Wherever he from from Georgia, Megreli, Megrelian, okay. they have dialects. Uh, oh. I don't know those dialects. Uh, we have same language, Georgian, but they have other language also. He even speaks this dialect. Wow. Um, 
You speak German too. He speaks, yeah, and then he speaks a little bit of Russian and <laughs> smart guy. Incredible. And then also, yeah, like um, uh, when I was, yeah, when I visit him, he was, uh, yeah, his closet, every like uh, the, the, you know, the clothes, c organized the shoes and all the, always high level, like a quality and everything like, looks good and you know, everything. Me, of course, I have like sweatpants, running shoes, yeah. like I rather me in sweatpants and like yeah, comfortable, like, yeah, yeah. but if I don't have to come here, I don't, I, I, it's, it's. You're wearing I, like sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah buddy, hoodies yeah, and yeah. you know, I want, <laughs> but Ilya, even his home, he's like. Um, like a model. Yeah, like um, either Louis Vuitton flip flops or. Oh, wow. You know, like. Uh, Valentino play or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> High level, you know what I'm saying? He's, I saw he did a, he's with, I think, uh, is it Dolce & Cabana now? The, 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 the like Cologne. Theodore, yeah. Is it, oh, is it what? Know. Who is it with? Someone, is it Dolce He did something with him and his wife or his, his fiance yeah, that, sure, yeah. uh, like a, a campaign for a Cologne. I was like, this is, this is like super high level stuff. Yes, yes, he's he's the guy, man. He's really high, high level. I don't know, he's something special, you know. He's always special. Even um, uh, yeah, when I uh, you know, cause I know uh, his parents too, uh, and then they said um, like even he was sixteen, he was living in defending. He was trying to like uh, always like always, um, you know, like you know. I think he even. They, they, him and his brother dropped the school. I, he tell you even in your sh in mm -hmm. your 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 podcast this. Uh, he talk about this too. But and then I think he he even moved by himself after he was sixteen or seventeen. Even you know, like you know, he's very independent. He's very smart, very creative, very very high level. You know, just uh, the the. But very sweetheart. He's if he loves you, he loves you like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? No, it's amazing. And I then also, I don't know if I can talk about this, but. You can and then oh, when I when I see his DMs, the lots of celebrity and model girls uh, are texting him. You no, know, of course I was most excited yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Like, bro, you yeah. you know you should go crazy. You know, like you know, you know he said now, you know, bro, I you know I'm looking for like a, a real love. You know, I don't want this. Yeah, this is this is come and go. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And then I'm I'm and then now he, you know what I want to say is if he wants he can have all the super models, but. I'm I'm glad he find his love, and then uh, they are waiting for baby now. Yes. And then he's sees what I'm saying. He's lover, you know. He's a, you know. He don't wanna like um. He don't wanna be like me. Sure. You know? He wants to be. You you don't want you you don't wanna have a girlfriend. You wanna. Me. Uh, Who are all these years? girls in your videos, by the way? Who's are who's all these? Just like? friends. You're just friends. No, with benefit, just friends. Okay, okay. <laughs> you don't want you don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> you're, but you don't. You're not like Colby Covington. You don't pay them to be in the videos, right? No, bro. No, no, no they are okay. my friends. Oh, listen. So what? Uh, yeah, I'm Georgian, and when I, when I was young, uh, of course, like uh, I see my father, and I see my brothers, and of course my family, everybody married, and um, then uh, family, and this is this is. I mean, I respect everybody. Family is the first, but. And when I moved to United States, first I wasn't ready. When I was young, you need money, you need job, everything. And I, I wasn't ready for marriage. But when I came to U.S. and I started working, and um, and uh, I was super religious at the time. And uh, and uh, and uh, and when you're religion, you cannot, you know, you gotta yeah. you got married. You yeah. Know? And um, and I I I focus of married. I was talking to one Georgian girl to married. And uh, I realized she wasn't my person, and she was somewhere else. And um, and uh, and then I was talking to other Georgian girl, and then and then she had some other things. And um, I, after I said, okay, I I, I I move on. Like and then I focus. I should focus on fighting and training. And now I'm just focused on fighting and training. And it's very hard, like uh, how I live. Uh, met a good girl to married with, and um, yeah, may, I'm, I'm sure, and I hope I can met. But it's very hard, you know, met a good girl, you know, right. and to married because, like, now I need, um, you know, it's to married and relationship. It's another job, you know. You you, yeah. you have family and I respect you, and um, it's another job. And you have to spend time, take care of them, protect them. And I'm not sure if I'm ready for right a relationship now, yeah. now, you know. You know, but you know, 
uh, maybe I want to win the belt first, and then maybe I can I can focus on uh, family after. Now that you're on this uh, amazing winning streak and you're you're about to fight for the belt, yes, uh, I would imagine your DMs. Do you need to go? No, no, no. Soon, soon. No, no, no. Everything okay? No, everything good. Okay. No, no, no. no. Uh, I don't want you because uh, no, no, I, I know okay. Aljo most can't. important. No, no, no. Um, now the DMs must be nice for you too, right? I'd imagine. Yes. Yes, it's good. <laughs> it's nice. Yes, yeah, nice. Yeah, I so yeah, it feels good. Uh, it's good to be Marab. And now with your social media exploding, you're getting seen by more well, people. Let me tell you one thing. Tell me. Um, yeah, my DM was good the uh, last couple of years, and um, I was trying to answer everybody. But now I slow down. I'm not. I can't answer everybody. Sure. I focus my social media, and um, now that's why my social media is growing. I. You know, so now I slow down a little bit. No, no extra girlfriend, something. You know? Okay. Yeah. Your focus. Remember the video when I closed the door for the girl? Yeah, yeah. That was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was your, that was you telling everyone you're done. I'm done. Close for business. Yeah, that's business. For I saw one. one recently you're watching on the laptop. Uh, With, I think there was a couple that's of... All, mm, that's for this Saturday, my friend. Okay, that's for this Saturday. <laughs> who are those people? Just friends? Just friends. Okay, just friends. okay it's nice. Yeah, I know, it's, I know. Very, it's very clever stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know. Every, not every friend wants to be your video. Like, sure, sure, <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, but I, I have lots of connections, my friend. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, like me, like... Yeah, just I have lots of friends and... Um, it's good, you know, like, you know, they support me, I support them. Sure. You know, you know, it's, it of has course. to be both ways, you know. Can I ask you do, you, do you think that if you didn't do this social media stuff recently, like the last, I don't know, when's it been? Four months. Four months, yeah. Yeah. That there's a chance they would have skipped you? There is. You think so? Yeah, I think so, maybe. Yeah. I, I think so, too. I think Look so. at Bilal. Yeah. They, yeah, were, they were trying to give Leon to fight Islam, to fight yeah. Hamza, to fight Shafkat. I agree, yeah, that's that's why, man, it's, it's, it's pretty different, it's different, man, yeah, exactly, man, exactly, you're right, man, maybe that can be one of the reasons now it's I'm 100% fighting for the title, yes, because I before really you probably just stay quiet and stay in the gym and just... You can't do it, right? Today, it's, you gotta be, I guess, you gotta either focus training, focus social media, and then, yeah... Yeah, I guess. Did did, uh, did someone tell you you need to do this or no, you figured nobody, it out? Nobody. Yeah, you just yeah, figured yeah. it out. I always wanted to do it. I was always looking for, but um, and uh, like now I, I tell you I, uh, I stop dating extra yeah. girlfriends and I Good. focus social media and that's it now. My social media growing. <laughs> so let me ask you for Saturday, uh, Alex uh, Pereira, Jamal Hill. Who do you who do you like? Oh man. Uh, I've been, um, I mean, Jamal Hill is a great fighter, and uh, I'm friends with him. He's such a great guy. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm rooting to Jamal Hill okay. because I'm, I'm friends with him, and I, I also not only friend. I, he's, he has a more experienced MMA fighting, you know. He, he, he's training jujitsu. He's training uh, everything. The Alex Pereira, he kicks hard, um, and of course, like. He's uh, like left hook good. Um, I would say Jamal Hill. Okay. Jamal Hill win. Um, win the champion. Gaethje Holloway. Uh, I will say because of a size different, maybe Gaethje okay. because he's he's big, and um, how he fights. Um, I think Gaethje. I would say Gaethje. What about Cody Figueredo? Oh yeah, that Cody Garbrandt. That's your weight class. Yeah. I don't know the fight. Yeah, I don't know this fight because um, yeah, I, I don't know actually. Why? What? Yeah, ah, no, I no comment. You know, I don't. Why know. no comment? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this I is of interest to you. Actually, yeah, yeah. When I'm thinking, I don't know who's gonna win because we all know Pegarado. He was fighting 125. Now he changed weight class. He looked good uh, in 135. Yeah. Uh, Corey Gabrant, uh, he has couple losses before. Uh, he looked good last fight, but uh, the guy who fought, the guy was coming from big, in, big, big surgery from the neck, Brian yeah. Kilhead. He was, he was, he had very big, big surgery on his neck, and uh, he, uh, Corey Gabran, he looked good, but I don't know how really, really he's in good shape now, and he's been training. I watch yeah. he, he trainings in, um, 
Las Vegas UFC PI all the time and uh, yeah I don't know I I, I can't really okay. tell who's like because stylistically they both can strike they can both grapple I don't know like uh, I heard Cody Garbrandt he's training wrestling and he's grappling but I don't know how good he is and how good Piguet sure, is sure. You know? by the way w w one last thing you ever have any drama at the PI like because I'm always shocked all the fighters are there together yeah and there's like a lot of personalities, a lot of egos, and I, and not a lot of drama. Like you ever see something? Like, I don't like this guy. I don't want to be there. Uh, we saw Hamzat and Paolo. I know yeah. something happened with the, the the women recently. But for you, has there ever been any issues there? No, never, never. You're peaceful. Drama. Yeah, always, never any any no problem in your CPI. No, <clears throat> no problem. Yeah, only. Only guy like I was just trying to like not trying like uh, only guy I have a little bit. Uh, Problem a little bit like it was Peter, huh. yeah, a little bit. So I'm there. I see. The, I did see Peter in the uh, UFC PI, but I, of course, I'm a professional. And yeah. I'm, I don't, I'm not gonna, you know, before fight, uh, I give uh, my opponent respect. Or even I see Peter <clears throat> before Al when Peter was fighting Aljo, and uh, I tell him, you bro, you focus to your opponent, yeah. focus to Aljo, my sterling. You know, don't focus on me. You have a big fight, and I give him respect and. Uh, um, Did you see him in Miami? Uh, Peter? Yeah. No, I don't see him. Uh, if I see him now, oh yeah, yeah, I did see him. I, now I was supporting him. Uh. Yeah, like now, like I want to him win. You know what I'm saying? Why? Um, yeah, like <clears throat> uh, I think uh, after my fight, I see him, he's more humble. Yeah. Uh, he's no bully anymore. Like he was bullying before, like everybody. Even I see him four years ago. Even. Uh, he he don't even know who I was and he was bullying me. I'm like, bro, like it was just how he looked me, like you know how he's like, yeah. bro, like very chill. And then, um, uh, and uh, yeah, how he talks and how he thinks, uh, like I don't know, like even now he's he wants rematch with me. <laughs> and, but uh, anyways, I think he's more humble now. And uh, also every time I fought somebody, if I beat them, even I if they beat me, you know, I always wish them best and uh, you know I want to next fight they win you know uh, I always rooting for them you know I kind of come like more friends with them you know saying like uh, shows the kind of person that you are I mean, I mean you're the man Rob thank you so much my I pleasure. really appreciate it uh, again I know it's very busy with Aljo and he's your top priority and that says a lot about yeah. you as a friend and teammate but thank you for for making some time for us of course. and uh, so happy that you're gonna get this title shot long overdue yes, if uh, I'm being honest it probably should have happened a couple of fights ago but you know thank you but it's uh, like it's same expression like here in Georgia. It's better uh, late, late than never. Than never. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's right. So it's 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 finally happening. I'm so happy. My country so happy. Uh, and Which country, Mexico or Georgia? Are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> Mexico, Georgia, America, everyone. But uh, you, uh, know, you know, you know. Like, are you showing me the Mexican flag? Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, there it is. Yes, yes, yes. There it is. But you know. Maybe on the other side you get the Mexican flag. Maybe American right. flag, Mexican oh, yes. flag. Yes. Let's go. Amazing. Yeah. I love Mexico, and then I'm trying to. Now I'm gonna fight uh, sugar, sugar Shonomali Mexican style. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna strike with him. You wanna strike with him? Oh yeah. No yeah. takedowns. I mean, yeah, of course. I, it's always, it's, it's my. In the back pocket, yeah, you have it, but pocket. you want to go stand in the middle of the the, the yes. cage, toe to toe, yes, sir. Yes, sir. and see how good his striking is. He's a great striker. He's a great very striker, smart fighter too. I, high IQ, right? Of course, of course. But um, uh, yeah, I'm I'm ready. You like you his know? skits too with his coach too. He does some fun skits. Um, you don't like that. Yes, the skit is good, but coach. You don't like that. He was talking shit about me, and then he was talking trash about me. What he uh, Joe make his coach team. Yeah, what do he say? He say my nose eight inch, and uh, I'm five feet three. Oh, Bro, it's it's not coach job. I'm not fighting coach. But right. if coach wants to fight before I fight uh, Sugar, I can fight coach too. I mean, I mean, no problem. You okay, know? so you don't want that. I mean, uh, maybe before it's it's it's, it's <laughs> coach versus you and Ryan Garcia against Sugar. You know they want to. Fight. No, no, no. <laughs> fuck his coach. You know, he, the guy has a long tongue. Like I'm gonna cut his tongue. Like I cut uh, Frank. You know, I cut like Henry's <laughs> <laughs> tongue. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
the yeah man it's listen I'm not fighting a team I'm fighting Sugar Shano Mali and uh, yeah it's about me and him you know the coach should not talk about uh, yeah, I feel a little bit disrespectful I don't care I, I get it I get yeah, it yeah, by the way are you, are you surprised Henry's sticking around he said he's sticking around and I'm glad he's sticking around. You know, okay. he's a good fight a uh, good good uh, good sportsman um, has a good family and uh, yeah I'm I'm happy. Then yes, of course. Listen, we are fighters, and uh, this is make make us happy fighting, make us happy, yeah. and uh, keep it going. And uh, and it's good. It's it's good. You know what? What I mean, this is the best, man. We we, we can fight, and as long as you love fighting, you gotta keep it going. Thank you so much, Marab. I really appreciate it. Thank Good you, sir. To you and the team. Thank you. You're always the best. I, I told people when you came on my, on my other show, the New York one, you were there two hours early. Remember that? Uh, really? Yeah. You remember when you came on the live show? I don't know what happened because usually I'm always late. No, you were great. You were great. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so Thank much. You. My pleasure. My pleasure. Marab Dewali Thank you. I'm going to keep talking here. Okay. but. Uh, They'll help you out there, Murad Dawalishvili, the man. Thank you, my friend. How do you say thank you in Georgian? Madloba. Madloba. Yes. And how do you say good luck? Tsarmat Ebebi. Tsarmat Ebebi. Tsarmat Ebebi. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.